Hello and welcome, we're official K4G, and my name's Gabriel. And my name's Michael. And my name's Crawford. And today we are going to be showing you the SquadBot plugin version 3.0 for Craftbucket by Orange451. So basically what this plugin does is it spawns in NPCs randomly into your world which can be used as guardians, which is a nice addition, uh, very similar to wolves but they can use armor and weapons and have names and a lot more personal. So first of all we're going to take a look at the commands. Um, we have slash bot and slash bot help which will show you the help page for the plugin slash kill bot which will kill your tamed bots which we'll get into slash list bot which is going to show you your tamed bots and you can also rename bots with the slash bot rename uh, then the bots name and then the new name but you have to be holding a sign for this to work you can also view the amount of untamed bots in the world by typing slash bot amt so let's move on to the permissions with Crawford. Permissions uses permissions x slash squadbot.capture allows the player to capture their bots. Slash squadbot.admin allows the player to be in complete control of the squadbot. Now with Gabriel with additional information. Thank you. Okay, so moving on to additional information. To tame a bot, right click it with the default item which is cookies which can be changed in the config. Uh, right clicking on a bot that you own will make it sit. Now while bots are sitting they will not follow you or attack. Bots can use armor and weapons which you can give to them by dropping it in front of them but they cannot use leggings or boots and if you would like them to use diamond gear then go into the config and change allow diamond gear option. And also there's more options to so just see the config for overall goodness. Okay, uh, there's a few bugs we've noticed which Michael's going to explain for us. Alright, so the first bug is uh, when you've hit a, a bot and they're following you, with multiple ones they will get stuck inside each other and you won't be able to hit them or injure them. And the other one is they randomly spawn on water and freeze so they don't move and they'll be all over the sea and stuff. It gets quite annoying. Yep, so if that could be fixed possibly that would be great. And just coming over to our little tree here. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks to Orange451 for the great plugin. Goodbye.